Good morning, friends and family, and family of friends. Welcome to the Friday edition of Morning Minutes, where we try to bring you fun and interesting local news and stories from around the world. Our goal is always no doom and no gloom, because, well, you do get enough of that from the regular media. Hard to believe it. This is our 265th episode of Morning Minutes. Wow. Additionally, we are wrapping up the first full week of spring and the last full week of March as we race towards April. April is an awesome transformative month as the world comes back to life all around us. Just love it. Well, we are still exploring locations in historic Rome. A month ago, we started exploring ancient sites from the once great Roman Empire. Our journey began at the Colosseum. Then we went on to the Acropolis and explored the magnificent structure known as the Parthenon. Then we dove into the truly amazing Pantheon, and last week we explored the once great Roman Forum. This week we've spent time in Vatican City, as we promised earlier this week. Today we are going to dive a little deeper into the history and significance of this truly awe-inspiring area known as St. Peter's Square. More on that shortly. This morning, sunrise was at 647, and sunset will be at 714, putting us up to 12 hours and 27 minutes of glorious daylight to make the very most of. Presently, we are waking up to temps in the low 30s today, and I'm happy to report we are at the start of what appears to be a bit of a warming trend. Today, you should expect partly sunny skies and temps reaching the low to mid 50s. Winds will be out of the northwest at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Mm, not bad. Temps will reach low 50s on Saturday, but they're saying there's a 60% chance of on and off rain throughout the day. But don't be discouraged because on Sunday, we are expecting mostly sunny skies and temps reaching the low to mid 50s. And it will be the start of what appears to be a drier trend on our weather over the next week or so. Our celebrity birthday shout out starts with the lead singer of Aerosmith, the group that has won four Grammy Awards and rose to prominence for albums such as Toys in the Attic and Rocks. Steven Tyler turned 73 today. Well, we don't want to leave our country music fans feeling left out, so our next celebrity is a popular country star who released 14 gold or platinum records, including Me and You and I Will Stand and over 30 top 10 singles by the time he turned 45. Wow. Caddy Chesney turns 53 today. Our next celebrity is a talented actor who is probably best known for his role as Sony Corleone in The Godfather. His other notable film credits include El Dorado, the Christmas classic Elf, the Stephen King novel made into an awesome movie, Misery, as well as the movie Kiss Me Goodbye. James Kane turns 81 today. Our next celebrity is a talented longtime comedy actress who was in the 1999 film Big Daddy. Some of her other, other popular films include Knocked Up, 17 Again, Funny People, Vacation, The Other Woman, and The 40-Year-Old Virgin. Great actress, awesome movies. Leslie Mann turns 49 today. And our final celebrity shout out is for a beautiful and talented British actress who first attracted attention for her role in the Bend It Like Beckham movie. She gained further fame for her fantastic role in the Pirates of the Caribbean film franchise. Additionally, she was in the movies Pride and Prejudice and Love Actually. More recently, in 2018, she joined the cast of Disney's The Nutcracker and The Four Realms. Kira Knightley turns 36 today. All right, let's dive right into our virtual adventure and exploration of the beautiful and historic location known as St. Peter's Square. St. Peter's Square is a large plaza located directly in front of St. Peter's Basilica in the Vatican City. The papal enclave inside Rome. Both the square and the basilica are named after St. Peter, an apostle of Jesus considered by Catholics to be the first pope. At the center of the square is an ancient Egyptian obelisk erected at the current site in 1586. Gianno Lorenzo Bernini designed the square almost 100 years later, including the massive Doric colonnades, four columns deep which embrace visitors in the maternal arms of Mother Church. A granite fountain constructed by Bernini in 1675 matches another fountain designed by Carlo Materno in 1613. St. Peter's Square consists of two parts, 
the trapezoidal section directly in front of St. Peter's Basilica, and the elliptical section framed by the colonnades of Bernini. The elliptical part of the square can easily accommodate around 60,000 visitors, although as many as 300,000 visitors have been reported during significant events. The Bernini colonnades consist of three aisles between four rows of columns, which elliptically enclose St. Peter's Square. This architectural wonder consists of 284 columns and 88 pillars. The stone used in the construction is called travertine and it comes from Tivoli. Additionally, there are 98 pillars dedicated to saints and another 42 saints that stand watch over the courtyard. Believe it or not, the statues are just over 18 foot tall. Truly a sight to see. The Piazza Retta is the part of St. Peter's Square that rises in a trapezoidal shape to St. Peter's Church. The rising trapezoidal shape creates an optical illusion that makes the facade appear closer and bigger. Visitors go up to the Basilica on the right and leave the Basilica on the left of the Piazza Retta. In between is the raised forecourt of the church, where primarily papal masses and general audiences are held. The obelisk located in the square is the second highest in Rome, and it's the only one without hieroglyphs. To get the obelisk from Egypt to Rome, a ship was filled with lentils, and then the obelisk was transported in it. The obelisk was Christianized with inscriptions, with a cross, and with symbols from the coat of arms from Pope Sixtus V, shown as a lion, three mountains, and a star as well as the crowned eagle from the coat of arms of Pope Innocent XIII. Well, we hope you enjoyed this brief virtual adventure of this amazing religious site. Next week, as a great coincidence and in honor of Easter, we plan to go into St. Peter's Basilica and carry on this journey of exploration. We hope you will join us. All right, from our comedy corner, what did the surgeon say to the patient who insisted on closing his own incision? Suit yourself. Okay, one more bad dad joke for the end of the week. My friends asked why I tell so many dad jokes. I told them just... I told them I just love pop culture. <laughs> Today is... Epilepsy Awareness Day, so they suggest wearing purple today to help show support and spread awareness of that terrible disease. It is also National Nougat Day and National Spinach Day, Popeye's favorite. Well, Belinda and I do appreciate the time that you spend with us each and every day. Our goal is to offer a mix of entertainment and education in each and every one of our Morning Minute posts. After all, knowledge is power, and you know it, we love to share what we come across and we certainly hope you are enjoying the experience. Please continue to like, follow, and share us with your friends and family. That one's super important, and we do appreciate it. And please remember, Belinda and I are creative, high-energy real estate agents. We do have a fleet of drones to capture those awesome aerial shots of your home and property. We have invested thousands of dollars and hundreds of hours into our VR and 3D marketing equipment we are your virtual marketing specialists in this virus conscientious world of ours. So if you're thinking of buying or selling, reach out to us for a free consultation. There is never an obligation and we will go the extra mile to reach your real estate goals. But thanks again for your time. Make it a great day and have an awesome weekend because you know it, you guys have the power to make it happen. We'll talk to you soon, we're out of here.